Wendy's Wooden Watch. The Wendy's five. Wooden Watch. Here are the finalists for the Wendy's Wooden Award. DeAndre Ayton, Marvin Bagley the third from Duke on there. Among the freshmen, also Luke May. You'll see him tonight as a finalist for the Wendy's Wooden Award. And also from Oklahoma, freshman sensation Trey Young. The Sooners have been trying to get it together. They played last night against <laughs> Iowa State. Young had 15 points. They got a victory. Did you see that dunk by Linda Wilkinson, though? Yeah. I mean, these, these highlights are great. They got the win. Lin Linda Wilkinson had the play of the game. 81 6. The Oklahoma avoids the bad loss. Quick question here. Does Trey Young play in the tournament, the NCAA tournament? And if he does, how long does he last? Well, the top 10 wins and our top 25 wins, they do. I think they're still losing the first weekend, though. All right, they're playing the tournament. They get knocked out the first weekend, and it has nothing to do with Trey Young. It has everything to do with their defense. Great. They just haven't been able to get stops. I don't know that they will make the tournament. If they lose their next couple games, I think it's going to be a big question whether they make it. But I think ultimately they win because they will make it, and I think they'll be out in the first two rounds. You know, the uh, selection committee had them in the top 16 when they first revealed them. So Oklahoma now, if they were to make a run, might be a sleeper team. But how about somebody you really believe in right now as we are a week and a day away from selection Sunday. Who's asleep? Herbert Davis's Middle Tennessee team. You're talking about 12 consecutive road wins. Nick King and Giddy Potts can flat out score. Kermit Davis, he's won a game in the last two NCAA tournaments. This team can get to the second weekend. They defend, they rebound, they pass the ball. Potts and King can flat out score. And I'm going with Notre Dame. I mean, you think about this basketball team. Yes, they did struggle without Bonzi Colson. But they were 12 and 3 with Bonzi Colson, 6 and 9 without Colson. They play against Virginia today. Today's a huge statement game. They don't have to win. They just need to show that they can compete at the highest level. Bonzi Colson coming back is a major, major thing for the Irish. Nevada is legit. Eric Musselman has an outstanding team. Caleb Martin averages close to 20 points a game. That's second in the Mountain West. They've got transfers. He transferred in along with his brother Cody from NC State. They've also got Kendall Stevens, who's got 111 made threes. That's fourth in Division I. Jordan Caroline is a stud. Nevada is a second weekend team.